Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is day 82, and I am very happy to say the account is green today. Plus 6% on the day. I made two trades. Both of them were same day till expire. Plus 18% and break even. And that break even trade, I got in and out really quick. Uh, almost didn't take it. Um, you know, I don't regret it. You know, I took the chance. It was looking like I wanted to go, but what are you going to do, you know? So I'm going to make today's video really quick, nice, short, and sweet. I might actually not trade tomorrow. I'm going to do my best. Uh, it's my birthday, so I'm going to try to just take the day off, which is something I didn't do last year, and I lost money, and I was like, that was just silly. I should have just slept in. Um, so I, that my ultimate goal is just to avoid the stock market tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is um, the day before FOMC, so I don't expect a lot of action. Typically, it's pretty choppy, low volume, and so I don't think the market's really going to make any decisions tomorrow. So I don't expect to miss out on much, so hopefully that kind of helps <laughs> keep me away from the market, but uh, I should be fine. But anyways, I'll probably be dropping in the Discord here and there just to say hi. Something fun I thought I would do, um, if you guys want, you can leave a comment down below. Um, if you have any famous people with your birthday or whatever, I happen to share mine with a couple of people. I thought it might be kind of a fun game. Maybe it's not. Now that I say it out loud, it seems kind of dumb, but, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So check down below to see who has the same birthday as me tomorrow. A couple very famous people. You're for sure going to know who they are. So, um, but it would be cool to see who else, uh, you know, if you know off the top of your head or if you just want to look it up just for fun. You know, just kind of let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, if not, whatever. Um, I thought it might be fun. And it's really, it's funny when you have an idea in your head and you, like, say it out loud. And you're like, man, why'd I even, uh, why'd I say that? But now I'm just talking to myself in a room to a camera. But anyways, without further ado, let's dive right in. Gonna wrap this up really quick. So, trade number one. Let's keep this short and sweet. That was a 413 put. I got it at 11.16. Held it for about 10 minutes, and I got out right at the bottom here, so I was really happy with the timing on that. Um, once I saw we got rejection right here, and we're seeing this downward pressure continue, I was really watching for that break below this 416.30 level right here that was acting as resistance before. And uh, once we got that breakthrough, I jumped in as fast as I could. I kind of missed probably half of that first candle right there, um, and then rode this out as long as I felt I could saw that the volume was kind of slowing down right here and that's why I decided to take profit right there. If you look back in pre-market, you can kind of see those levels. Those are the levels I was looking at to kind of time out my exit right there. You know, I had my finger on the trigger just ready to sell, trying to get out the maximum profit that I could and I believe I actually did right there. Um, we can take a look really quick. Okay, zooming in on this contract, you can see actually, I got out right here at 11.26. And I got the most out of it I could have until later in the day. There's a weird little spike, but again, did not quite get back to those levels. So I was in and out of that pretty fast, and I was I was happy with that 10 minutes. I'm grateful for green, you know. Glad I took that money and ran with it, because as soon as I sold, I saw it starting to kind of bounce and move upward, and uh, I was just happy to walk away with that and continue this green streak. And I almost decided not to trade again. Uh, but I waited long. I was extra patient. Kind of waited for this move. Missed this big drop right here, which was a little frustrating because I was I was watching a contract that was around eight dollars, and it basically went up a hundred percent in this time frame. So I can't remember if that was the four, twelve. I don't remember which one it was. But anyways, I got in right here on the four fourteen, and I got in and out pretty quick. You can see my entry was good. You know, I waited for the bounce and rejection right here. And it looked like it was going to continue down, but it did not. So I didn't waste a whole lot of time with that. You can see it was almost a minute exactly, a minute and five seconds in and out. And definitely glad I sold. Uh, I think just quickly after I sold it, it, it dropped to like $6. So I was like, phew, glad to get that one out of here. And I knew once I sold, I was done for the day. Um, I had some buying power left, but it was just so choppy. Not even worth trying to squeeze money out of it, honestly, because it's so easy to lose money in this environment. You know, it's just so indecisive and, and the price action is so minimal so that, you know, when you do take a loss, it just makes it even harder to make that money back because there's 
less opportunity. So anyways, rambling on here, let's wrap this up and up 6% on the day. And I think since the low of the account, it's about up 150%. So very happy with that. And that's just all thanks to just being extra patient and uh, waiting for those right setups and doing everything I know I should do and just <laughs> following my own rules, really. It's nice seeing the hard work pay off, you know, day by day, just consistently stacking up those those gains a little bit by little bit. And uh, it's really cool to see how much an account can grow just exponentially over time. So as long as you don't blow it up, right? Let's not go down that road again. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Greatly appreciate you. And I hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.